Okay, I will show you how we enclose this for the winter time. We do like this open in the summer so we can get air and sit out underneath it with the weather and all that. I've already done some, as you can see. This is what I've done. I put a wood frame around the metal framing, as you can see. And they're really screwed tight to the metal framing, as you can see. We're going to close this so we don't see all the outdoors and the snow and crap. And this year, this is the task I'm going to be doing. This is the big thing here. This is open. I made a curtain here. As you see, that's pulled shut right now. I'll leave that up year round, just like tied up in a corner over there. It don't look so bad. And I made that top part up there so the wind doesn't blow in. And you can see that red line going across. That's the cable. Then up there, a little bungee thing, I just pull up it, just give a little taut. I got eye bolts coming through there. That's will hold the curtain shut close. So next I'll be putting up some paneling. Or not paneling, but some panels, like quarter inch plywood that I have tacked tarp onto it. Tarp's cheap, so you can tack it all up on both sides of it as you see the pieces coming up. So what we're going to do is pull the vehicles out and show you how we do this in closing. As you've seen, we're going to be doing the back as well this year. So stay tuned. Watch this, how you enclose a carport. Excuse me for my voice. I'm losing it. I'm losing my voice. What the heck? Now that the vehicles are out of here, time to put the sides up. All right, well here's some photos now of the carport without any sides or backing. I will show you in this video how to enclose all that. As you see, there's wood on the metal framing of this already, but uh, we will be putting sides up and enclosing that back. This back is going to have a different kind of thing. It's going to have a privacy fence built. See, I got me some privacy fencing. I'll be putting that up on the back side of it. Last year or two, I've been using just great big pieces of tarp, which is terrible. I just put the post in a existing concrete things there, tie strip it to it. That's all I got to do is make it good and strong. As you see, I'm starting to build it around there right now. And it's going to be a sturdy wall. Took a while to put that up and heavy. It's heavy as heck. And I'll add it on there and then I'll have to enclose the top part with something I'm going to do later. You'll see that in another video. But carry on with the rest of the video. As you can see, <clears throat> last year, I had this tarp on this whole side. Well, it just kept on tearing, it kept on tearing. The wind was just tremendous. So we built this strong wall out of these fence posts I got from a friend and just put them on this, as you see the photographs, we put them on the concrete blocks that's existing from an old garage it used to be here. Wish I had the garage, but what can you do? Anyway, I built this wall, stabilize it where it can be taken down in the summertime because I like to have all this open in the summer. Just got to find a place to keep putting this stuff in the summertime. Might just leave it up this time. I secured it. I got tie strips. These rods, they're secured in there real tight. And we're going to take this one here. We're going to cut it so we can go around the corner there 
there and finish up the other side over there. As you see, I labeled this one and two, and it should go down. It's like two and three. So there's four panels on this side. You number the panels and you number the side. Remember the one by threes are already up. I leave them up all year. They're just up, the fray mess. You just use sheet metals and Anchor it to the steel framing of your carport. That way you got all this all over the place all the time. Now we'll start putting up the sides. <clears throat> now we start to put up the panels. We'll put the top screws on first. Attach screws to the bottom, secure it flatly, fix up the little cracks. Now we tack on the bottom parts of these panels. Can't forget that one. Well, the other side's up now, except for the bottom. I gotta tack on the bottom with the screws yet. And then as you see, some of these flaps. What I'll do on this, I'll tack it or stake with the other piece that adds extra support keeps the air and the snow out as you see there's flaps here too i made that purposely for that and i'll just screw the bottom back in on the bottom and we'll see how that goes thanks again for watching well now i got both sides done Winter for it's 
ready for winter. I just got to touch up the, some of those flaps and staple them to the other board. That way they're tacked on real nice and tight. As you will see. And tack that, see how it hides the crease? It hides the crease. This tarp's cheap stuff. You just tack that along there. That's all you gotta do. Now this whole side be done like this. That's how you winterize your carport. You can't afford all that high tech stuff and expensive stuff to enclose it. I like to put this up in the winter time and take it down in the summertime so I can have it all open again. You know, it takes a few minutes. This used to take me, I don't know, about two hours, three hours. Now it took me actually about 45 minutes to put all this stuff up. Maybe a little bit longer since I'm making a video. This is my door I got hidden on here. And we'll tack that with some screws. And I'll just tack that a little bit there. Just to help protect that is all. Hide it. That's not big there just to do that. That's a hidden doorway. Now our next quest is, how do I fill that void? How do I fill that void? Hmm. Well, I got the curtain there for the front, as I'll show you later. But I got to fill this void somehow so the air cold air well it's still gonna be cold but the snow will stay out so I gotta find a way to put that what was last year cut it in half and put it up in here hmm we'll see how that works first step Get it centered and ready. Well, the old carport is done. Got my door put in there. As you can see, there's a little door there. And I got this all taken care of. Just put the tarp back up and only half of it. And I fasten it to the top of the fencing. I wasn't gonna leave it go all the way down, but I figured, you know what, the wind still might catch it and blow everything down, so we don't want that. There we go, we got that done. Here's the curtain. There's that wall. As you see the curtain there is done. That way I could pull it open any given time. That way I can keep it open unless the snow is coming. The snow is coming, then of course. Open that.
Well, I want to thank you again for watching the closing of my carport. That's about all. I hope this helps somebody else. And um, you never know. Leave me a question if you want to make a remark or something like that. But this, I'm ready to grill some steaks now. I'm going to cook some steaks on the grill. Got all my winterizing done for the day. Although I do have to mow grass yet. So, but now it's time to pull the vehicles in. Thanks for watching. And this is why we had our carport built with weather like this. A few inches of snow on the ground. Otherwise, we would have had to have all that pushing off the cars. I pulled the curtain shut, as I showed you in that curtain. Well, thanks again for watching again. See, nice and dry in here. Be able to fire up the grill later. <laughs> thanks for watching.